there is no doubt that solar eclipses are a treat for the eye. I mean, who isn't mesmerized seeing the daytime suddenly fading away for a few minutes? This phenomenon isn't very rare on a global scale as they happen a few times in different locations each year, but they may be rare for some locations such as the Caribbean. However, the region as well as other surrounding areas will have the opportunity to view this phenomenon on Saturday, the 14th of October, 2023. Before I get into the details about this eclipse, let's talk about what solar eclipses are and the three types. Firstly, what is a solar eclipse? Now, I won't bombard you with a lot of scientific expressions, so here's a simple way of understanding what happens. I want you to think of this scenario. You are sitting outside on a chair facing the direction of the sun and your friend decides to walk in front of you. Notice how they now gradually shade you from the light of the sun and once directly in front of you, you are spared from the intense rays. That is because the sunlight cannot just travel through them because we're humans and we are opaque so we're not transparent and light travels in a straight line. The same thing happens with three astronomical bodies, the sun, moon, and earth during a solar eclipse. When the moon travels between the sun and earth and they are perfectly aligned, it casts its shadow on earth. Based on how much of the sun will be blocked out, that is how we differentiate the different types of eclipses for various locations. If only a portion of the sun is blocked out, it is known as a partial solar eclipse. If the moon fully blocks out the sunlight for observers, that is known as a total solar eclipse, aka when day turns to night for a few minutes. However, the eclipse that will be witnessed this Saturday is an annular solar eclipse. But contrasting a total solar eclipse where the moon is at the perfect distance to fully obscure the view of the sun, a ring of light or ring of fire is observed instead. That is exactly what observers will witness this weekend. An eclipse is a gradual process and only people in a narrow strip of Earth will get the chance to view the full eclipse. If you're in the most vibrant shading of that strip, you will witness the entire eclipse and have the opportunity to see the ring of fire. So for areas across the US, Central and South America, the full eclipse will be visible. Zoom into the Caribbean, parts of Mexico, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama will see either the full or nearly the full eclipse. The path of the full eclipse then travels through to Colombia and Brazil. But let's talk more about the islands. Unfortunately, the main Caribbean islands will not witness the ring of fire, but listen now for your location and the visual that will depict how much of the sun will be blocked out for you. So for the far western side of Cuba, including Isle of Youth and Grand Cayman, this is the maximum eclipse that you will be able to see. For most of central Cuba, Jamaica, and down through Aruba and Curaçao, this will be it for us. For the Bahamas, eastern Cuba, Haiti and the western part of the Dominican Republic, Bonaire, the extreme southern tip of Grenada, and Trinidad and Tobago, this will be it for you. The Turks and Caicos Islands, eastern Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands excluding Anagata, Ceiba, St. Eustatius, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, Guadeloupe, Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the rest of Grenada, and Barbados, this is what you will see at maximum. The final group in Anagada, Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Bartholomew, Antigua, and Barbuda, this is what you will see. Let's also go to the northeastern part of South America. Across Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana, this will be the maximum eclipse that you will witness. So there you have it. Now you know how much of the sun will be blocked out for you. But what about the time? When will it begin? Well, it varies for different locations. For example, 
in Montego Bay, Jamaica, it will start at approximately 11.11 a.m., while for Kingston, it will be around 11.15 a.m. What I have done is left a link in the description below. Click on the link and then when you're taken to the site, enter your location in the search bar and it will tell you what time it commences for you. With viewing this rare spectacle, optical safety is a priority. There are eclipse glasses for the occasion but if you don't have any, you can always tune into live streams that will cover the entirety of the eclipse. Remember, it is very dangerous to look at a solar eclipse if it isn't a total solar eclipse where the sun is fully blocked out at the peak because even a small portion of the sun being visible can still damage eye tissue. Finally, there is a big determinant of whether you'll see the eclipse if you're in its path and that is the weather. The most ideal weather is a cloudless sky but unfortunately, that might not be the case for all of us. Stay tuned for my updates on my main channel, Weather Girl Danny, to know what conditions will be like for your area on a day-to-day -day basis and not solely for this eclipse. So that is what I wanted to share in this video and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Enjoy the rest of your day and safe viewing on Saturday.